we are learning about teen numbers. Get your teen number packet. It should have the 11 on it, a pencil, and some crayons, and come on back. Okay, so uh, let's put our name on the top. And then I am going to take my number 11 off the packet. So I'm just going to pull it off so that it's easier to work with. All right, now I am going to get two colors of crayons to work with. One of my numbers I'm going to use, colors I'm going to use for the tens, and the other color I'm going to use for the ones. So before we begin, let's go ahead and color the number 11. Um, the math way to say number 11 is 110, 1. 110, 1. So I'm going to color the 110 purple. Then I'm going to color the 1, 1 orange. It's kind of a red orange. And you'll see as we do this why we can call 11, 110, 1. Before we do our experimenting with the number though, let's go ahead and trace the number 11. So we're going to start at the sky. Numbers always start at the sky. And we'll go 110, 1 for 11. 110, 1. Let's try some on our own. Nice. So we know how to make the number 11. Let's draw the number 11. So I'm going to take the purple for my tens first. You might, whatever color you colored your tens with. And let's color 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. A whole tens frame is filled. There's 10. Now I'm going to color one more, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And I colored this. So I can see very clearly that I have 1, 10, 1. Let's do the same thing over here with the smiley faces. So I'm going to use the color that I used to color the 10s. We'll color 10 smiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, time to switch colors. Eleven. One ten and one more. So eleven equals one ten. Let's go to I'm gonna take my pencil again. One ten and one one. Eleven equals one ten and one one. Another way to say that is 11 equals 10, here's my 10, plus 1. Down here, if I was on the number 10 and I wanted to go to the 11, I would do one hop. Because 10 plus 1 equals 11. And the last thing we are going to do is we are going to do, on this side, actually, I'm, we're going to do something on the other side. The last thing we're going to do on this side is we're going to do 10 tally marks. Now, you haven't done tally marks with Mrs. Stockup before, so I don't know if you know how to do them. So we'll do them together. Watch me with the tally marks. We go like this. One, two, three, four. And then when we get to five, we, we slash it. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Awesome. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to turn our paper over, and on this side we are going to make a number bond. We can do it with a crayon or a pencil. I'm going to use my crayon. So on the top is a circle, and 11 is our whole number. So I'm going to put the number 11 in there. And then with the number bond, we divide the number into parts, remember? So what part does this digit stand for? 10. 
And what part does this digit stand for? One. You should have a number bond that looks like this. Because 11 is 110. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 1, 1. 10 and 1 make 11. So make sure you have your number bond on the back and then you're finished for today. Nice work. Bye for now.